What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Prodolone and Blood de Chanel, the EDT. So Prodolone came out in 2016 and Blood de Chanel came out in 2012, if I'm not wrong. Blood de Chanel, it's got your famous grapefruit. It's got your jasmine, beautiful jasmine, a little bit of incense it's got iso e super a very high quality version of it over time this edt has has kind of mellowed out it used to be really sharp and uh and loud but now that i've had it for some time you can just see it's mellowed out it's very 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 good actually as time has gone on blood of chanel edt has improved like leaps and bounds it smells like a completely different scent now now prada long this one came out in 2016. I've had this for some time. And look how much I've used. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Gets plenty of compliments. And it's very versatile. Both of these are very amazing office scents. Now, you guys want to know what you should get. Which one is better? There's two variations of this. I believe there's a dark version. And I believe for Blood of Chanel, there's about two other versions or three. I believe there's two other versions. There's a lot of versions of Blood of Chanel, but there's only one other. There's about two of these. There's an O, uh, which has got a blue back. If you look at this, it kind of looks like Mont Blanc. Uh, what do you call it? Explore. And then it all has a blue back. And then there's another one that has a black front. So you're, you're trying to select and you want to know. This one is a heavy on the iris, soapy scent. It's really just heavy on the iris. And it has a very gorgeous uh, geranium in there and neroli, okay? And amber and sandalwood. So this one smells absolutely gorgeous. It has a very sexy vibe to it, okay? It's, um, it's a sweetness in here, but it's more of the iris sweetness variety. Uh, Blood of Chanel, on the other hand, it's got that, it's got that, Incense and ISO E Super in grapefruit. Okay. And it, this has cedar as well. Uh, the wood in this one is uh, sandalwood. I believe this has cedar as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it does. They both have sandalwood and cedar. Okay. Now, you're thinking about which one to get. Now, Blood of Chanel, I'll mind you, I'll say that Blood of Chanel, I can wear to the gym. Prada Long. I don't work, the, I used to try and work the gym, but it just, for me, I like Blood of Chanel more. Something about the heat and that ISO E Super and just the way that it smells, the grapefruit works really well. However, this one, I like to use in air conditioned environments. It does work excellent in high heat, but this is really made for indoors, I feel like. Um, so yeah, bear that in mind. If you want something, so I guess, yeah, if you want something more versatile, right? I go with Blood de Chanel because of this, you, it depends on your skin chemistry. For me, I, I feel like I can wear this to the gym, right? But it has some kind of a, what is it? I believe it's the, uh, the lack of citrus that makes this not the, you know, the most best gym scent. It's more of a floral. It's got the sweetness from the iris. And when the heat picks up on your skin, it's it's still there it's sexy but if you know it's nothing like what this smells like when the heat picks up so blood of chanel is more versatile as you can see i'm, I'm running low on it <clears throat> however in ac environments in the summertime you can wear this like i said the gym is different from summertime because you're not running around sweating okay this one with sweat is a bit better than this one with sweat now, if you guys if you guys think anything different, tell me in the comment section below on what you think about that comment. Because for some people, they may say they wear this to the gym, and I did at a time, but then I stopped. So, projection, Blood of Chanel also projects more. Okay, it projects more than Prada Lom. Prada Lom has good projection, and I would say better sillage. It also is a very um. Whatever you touch, if you, wherever you spray, wherever you move, the scent lingers much more than Blood of Chanel. Actually, 
I take that back. Bleu de Chanel does fill up a room. They're both, I think, the same with the sillage. They leave a long scent trail. And whenever you leave a room, it still smells like that. These are perfect for the office. These are superstars of the office, okay? I would say in, in an office environment, Prada Lawn may do a bit better because of the type of scent it is and how it, um, it develops over throughout the day. It has a nice development. So does Bleu de Chanel, but this is like that sweet, sexy iris, and then it becomes serious. Like a serious, not serious, it's still playful, but there's a seriousness to this scent that um, the EDT of Bleu de Chanel has. Yeah, the Bleu de Chanel has this, like, whoa, like, yeah, I'm here. You know, like a younger, this one, this EDT has like a younger vibe to it. This has a young vibe, but not as much as the EDT. Price-wise, I would say this is more expensive. So this is like about a hundred something dollars. And this is about $80, $90. So th this is more expensive just by hair. Now, compliments. Compliments, compliments. Bleu de Chanel wins on the compliments. This is like basically at the level of Sauvage, okay? This gets a lot of compliments, okay? Bleu de Chanel, if you're looking for compliments, get your hands on this one. This also gets a lot of compliments as well, but it doesn't beat Bleu de Chanel. So you're thinking now, wow, what am I going to do? This is seems like a total roller coaster and Bleu de Chanel's winning. Well, yeah, it is. Bleu de Chanel is winning this office fragrance race, okay? So if you're thinking about which one to get, I would go with Bleu de Chanel, hands down, okay? This one right here. This is still an excellent fragrance, don't get me wrong, but this one wins. So yeah, if you guys have any questions and have it, like, let me know how these fragrances have been working out for you. Let me know in the comment section below and you have a fantastic day. Peace.